Uh, I'm so happy the church uh, uh, project is in progress. <coughs> yes. Um, I found the world in Japan, importer and exporter, clearing and forwarding, and uh, Emeka merchandise. I will be supporting the uh, <laughs> The church with a sum of one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's me. In the car. Happy. 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 I would give the sum of 100,000 there. I love what Sam is here said before his donation. There is no point beating around the bush. Mm -hmm. I am giving the sum of 50,000 naira to support the church projects. Hey. <laughs> Bless you, Father. Bless you, Son. I, Miss Elizabeth Okoli, will be donating the sum of 20,000 naira. Hi, Mrs. Chidera. On behalf of myself and my husband, I'm donating to the church 2.5 million naira. <laughs> I'm so happy for what is happening here. I'm very happy. Yes. Um, <coughs> without wasting time, I, Sir HK, I am giving the sum of 200,000 naira. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mr. Ogbo. Hello, Mr. Ogbo. I, Sir Silas, on behalf of my entire family, I am giving the church a whipping sum of 500,000. Hey. In support of the project. Abi Maria. Thank you very much, Sir Silas. Brethren in Christ, um, I want to thank you all immensely for your contribution towards the, the church project. On behalf of myself and my family, I'm giving the sum of 10 million naira. <laughs> You've all spoken, and uh, I shouldn't take your time still saying what you've already said. On behalf of I myself and my family, I'm giving the sum of uh, five million dollars. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know where to start. I, I am overwhelmed with joy with what we've gotten here today. I mean, we are, we are making headway. I say that the good Lord will bless you, will replenish you. Wherever this money came from, hundred fools shall return back to you.
commit ourselves into your hands today. Protect and guide every one of us. I commit my business into your hands, Father. Take control. As I go out, let your presence go before me. Protect my wife. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Protect everything that concerns us. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sweetheart, okay. I have to rush to the to the port. Okay. Um, some of my containers are arriving today, so I have to be present whilst they are float. Okay. And um, I might come back late, so don't get worried when you don't see me. Okay, but are you not going to have breakfast? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm okay. Come here. Don't forget to use my breakfast. I won't forget, of course, I won't forget. Come here. Do you want me to buy anything? Hey guys, we're home.
fire from where? The whole building. I don't know. I don't know. The whole building. The whole building. Baby, what is going on? Fire, fire where? Honestly, I am very, very sorry over what has happened to you guys. I mean, I've not seen this kind of thing before. This is strange. It is the most shocking experience I have ever had. Everything I have worked for, gone. Um, sorry brothers. We're very sorry about what happened to you guys. I mean, this is not the end of the world. Okay? You have to get a grip on yourself. I mean, in situations like this that often lead to high blood pressure, insanity or even death, if the victim fails to get a hold on himself, you have to take it easy. You're very correct. Honestly, you're very correct. You see, if you guys had joined the club as advice, it wouldn't appear as if the world has come to an end for the both of you. One now. Come on, no me lie liga kuse. Sinke ne libero. Kakusi kene. Makoma mato tia. Well, it is sweet. I make enough of your club master class. Since your hands are tied, I'll look for another way. <laughs> you cannot you make me laugh. I mean, which other way are you talking about? Which other way are you talking about rather than Looking for money to start again. We all know that you guys invested all your savings in this business. That is why I suggested that you go back to the church and request for your money. I mean, this is your money we're talking about here. You have to start again. That's the best option. I think he has given you the best option. When they go to the church, and collect your money. Huh? It's just one week ago. Go and get your money and start up life again. <laughs> How possible is that? Very possible. Cheta, very possible. For God's sake, Ikena has been giving so much to the church. And I don't think going to the church to request for the last money will be a big thing for the church to do. What are we talking about here? Of course, it's just a week ago. They are still with the money. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. You shouldn't be talking about that. I, I can you go back to the church and request for the money you give to them? Don't try that. You can Don't listen to them. I beg your pardon. Excuse me. I see. Well, like I said, I sympathize with both of you. Right now, there is nothing I can do. My hands are tied. I have an appointment to catch up with. So see you guys later. Not big for Not to worry about that. I'm the Wait up. Meet me Chita. up. Back. You can sit down and while I'm Kill Oh, this is so shocking. 
day when I just thought all is well. And this came up. You can't imagine the pain I'm going through right now. I understand the pain. But you have to put yourself together. That is the only problem with that solution. So once there's life, there is hope for better tomorrow. Welcome. So what about your husband? He's trying so hard to recover from everything that has happened. We pray he recover. And you have to take it easy. You know what I mean. You're pregnant. I know. Take it easy, okay? I'm so happy the church uh, uh, project is in progress. <coughs> yes. Um, Afambo, Sa, Emeka, Japan, importer and exporter, clearing and forwarding, and uh, Emeka merchandise. I will be supporting uh, the church with some of. Oh yeah, it's me. Happy, 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 So to support the church project, I, Samizi, I would give the sum of hundred thousand naira. Uh, I love what Sami said before his donation. There is no point beating around the bush. Mm -hmm. I am giving the sum of fifty thousand naira to support the church projects. Hey. Maria. <laughs> I, Miss Elizabeth Okoli, will be donating the sum of 20,000 naira. Hi, Mrs. Chidera. On behalf of myself and my husband, I'm donating to the church 2.5 million naira. I'm so happy for what is happening here. I'm very happy. Um, without wasting time. I, sir, HK, I am giving the sum of 200,000 naira. I, sir Silas, on behalf of my entire family, I am giving the church a whipping sum of 500,000 hey. in support of the project. Happy Maria! Thank you very much, sir. Brethren in Christ, and I want to thank you all immensely for your contribution towards the, the church project. On behalf of myself and my family, I'm giving the sum of 10 million naira. <laughs> spoken and uh, I shouldn't take your time still saying what you've already said on behalf of I myself and my family I'm 
given the sum of uh, 5 million naira. Hey! <laughs> Uh, I don't really know where to start. I, I am overwhelmed with joy with what we've gotten here today. I mean, we are, we are making headway. I say that the good Lord will bless you, will replenish you. Wherever this money came from, hundred fools shall return to I think my friends were right. Taking back the 10 million naira from the church, it shouldn't be a problem to them. Because I have, I've invested so much in that church. So they shouldn't feel bad when I, when I demand for my 10 million. I could use the 10 million to reinvest. So, Iken, uh, I really do understand the precarious situation you are into right now. But uh, I don't think that money can be refunded. You give it to the church, you give it to God, and uh, that money actually really has gone into the church project. Yes. All that money I give you has gone into the church project in one week. Father, come on now. Father, be considerate. I mean, we're all human beings. Father, we're not, we're not children. Father, I have contributed immensely to the growth of this church. And I don't expect you to think twice before you help me. Of course, uh, Ikenna, you have uh, been of immense help to the growth of this church. But I also want to remind you once again that this is a church. I'm not a bank. Or any sort of business enterprise. Father, listen to me. I don't want any problem between us. It is my money we are talking about here. I personally gave that money to you and I want it back. As a matter of fact, you can give me half of the money. I don't mind. The church can keep the rest. But I want my money back. I give you till Friday to make that money available. Please! Saikena, do you know that this father, listen to me. I don't want issues between us. We don't have to go back and forth on this issue. Alright? I just want my money back. So that the peace of the Lord. <laughs> 
can abide amongst us. Mother, good morning. Good morning. I heard what happened to your business. It's a pity. I'm really sorry. That's fine. Thank you. Um, mother, I just spoke with Father Jude. I told him to return the 10 million naira I give to the church. to reinvest. I want to make use of the money now. Please, can you tell him to make my money available? I don't want issues. Saikin, I understand perfectly how you feel. But this is the house of the Lord. And um, we have rules and regulations that guide us, which I know you are aware of. Mother, are you trying to say that church rules are much more important than the well-being of a man who has been efficient and effective to the church? Please don't misquote me. That's not what I am saying. Look, you need to get hold of the emotions and look at this thing from a different perspective. Listen. The money you gave us was for an ongoing project and we've plowed everything into that project. So it's not there anymore. And besides, the, the Bible is against uh, any man that gives to the Lord and then decides to take whatever it is he has given back. It's not done. The best thing to do now is to pray and um, hope and believe that God makes a way. Okay, Mother, I've heard you. But oh, please, kindly tell everyone involved that I want my money back whilst we wait on the Lord to make it way. Thank you. Apologize once I can as behavior. I mean, it's totally unbecoming. I don't even know where that kind of behavior came from, but you and I know there's not that kind of person. He's a very respectful and considerate young man. So um, I suggest that um, you find it in your heart to forgive him while we look into the matter. Mother, I don't know how you would want to handle it. We need to do something to find out really what's going on. Well, I've forgiven him already. Uh, Mother Tabitha, you made a very valid point here. We really have to do something fast about this whole thing. I think we have to hold a meeting with the parish council. Yes. We have to hold a meeting so that um, we find a solution to this problem. Yes. Please, I would love to know the outcome of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Really? But, Mother Tabitha, what, what actually happened to Psychic Man? Father. Only God knows. Are you serious, Father? I was as shocked as you are when he said that. I tried to make him see reasons with me, but he failed to understand me 
Rather, he was sounding rude and considering me wicked and unreasonable. He walked out on me finally and said that he's coming back on Friday for the money. Ha! This is serious. Ha! Saiken, what is he thinking? It is hard to believe that such words is coming from a man like him. He had a problem. Mm -hmm. He needs money to mm -hmm. start all over. But definitely not this way. Not this way. I have never heard that someone gave something to God and then came back for it. That what surprises me most. God help us. God help us, Father. Ah. I warned you. I warned you, but you won't listen. I warned you to cut down on the way you give your money to the church. You refused. You said you were giving your money to God and to your fellow brethren in Christ. I wonder where you got that useless philosophy from. Now look at you. I mean, take a good look at yourself. When you needed them most, they all turned their back on you without even a second thought. Look, Ikena, if you want my advice, I will tell you never to give them a gentleman's approach. Look, Asuka Akokasia, Akokasia. That is the only way you can get your money back. These people have your money, but they don't want to give it to you. Ikena, you have to be stubborn. You have to be stubborn and radical to get your money back. And then I change the outcome. Okay, your money. now but I'm just worried because my final exam will be coming up very soon and I can't sit for it if I have not paid the fee. Um, I got you. You said it's 280,000 right? Mm -hmm. It's all right you give me some time let me run around for it. <laughs> Thank you brother. Thank you. You're welcome. You're my kid sister. Mm. I will do anything I can do to make sure I set a good plan for you. Thank you so much. You're the best. I love you. Mm. 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 Thank you. continue like this. Do you want to die because of what happened? Or will starving yourself change the situation? Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and forever shall it be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Father, I love you. Thank you for today. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my husband. God bless my husband. Protect him. 
restore everything he has lost. Guide us as we are about to go to bed. Cover myself, my husband, my house with the blood of Jesus. No people fashion against us shall prosper in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I overheard your friends trying to introduce you to some of their rich friends that can help you out. But you sounded like you're not even interested. Yes, you're right. I'm not interested. Why wouldn't you be interested? I'm still thinking about it. Why are all the duvets in this house? I don't know. You didn't collect them from the laundry guy? I forgot. Eva. Do you remember what you just told me right now? Babe, stop joking, alright? You want to tell me that I don't know how rich your brother is or what? For crying out loud, your school fees is nothing but change to him. You're right, Lizzie. <laughs> well, he can't afford it easily now. My brother has a very serious financial challenge. See, the exam is fast approaching. But he hasn't given me the money yet. And I don't even see any possibility of him giving me that money before the exam starts. Well, it's okay. It's fine. I understand the situation perfectly well. But then, Eva, you're a girl. And a very fine one at that. Listen up. Use what you have to get what you want. There are quite a lot of men out there who are rich and wealthy, like, ever ready to foot your bills. Ever losing up on this pride and Born again attitude of yours. Join the trend ever before you lose your opportunity of graduating this year. And you sure know what it means, right? Use your head, mama. Brain no be beans. Understand me. But it's left for you to. Otito Delino Jesu. O tu to de ni Jesu na bebe Onye ji sike Allah reze Onye bo ka tapa na hamu Ko gbara na ya ni I will say that I am impressed on the ongoing project Which is spread Saiken na you are welcome And please you have to excuse us for a while eh This meeting is meant for the church council Please, if you don't mind, please. Father Drew, I'm sure you know why I'm here. I want to believe you have given my message to the church council. Please come and settle me at the time. So I can, uh, I don't understand what you are talking about. You don't understand what I am talking about. Yeah, Eh? Am I speaking house and language? My own money, Father Ju. My own money. Now listen and listen good. Nobody, I repeat, nobody should get me upset. Because if you do, you don't like your son. You can't, what is it? You don't talk to our father in that manner. You don't, you don't have to. Hey, please, hey, excuse us, please. Tell him to give me my money. Saikena, if I may ask, what money? Which money? <laughs> Um, Saikena had a problem. He came the other time asking for the money he gave for the church project. Father Jude told him the money has gone into the project. 
But he refused, saying we are lying. Now we must give him back his money. What? It is not. Saikenda, is that why you came here and talked to the father in that manner without respect? Are you listening at all? Where in this world have you heard that a man was giving back what he gave to God? That money has gone into the church project. Mm. So please, excuse us. Mua. Mua. Bigenna. Who has contributed to the growth of this church as much as I have? And so? Huh? Now listen to me. I have a problem. A serious predicament. Business is bad for me. And I need the money I give to you people to reinvest in my business. And if I don't get that money, if I don't get that money, Father, if I don't get that money, you will not like me. Again, it is it. Yes, I can. We understand what you're going through. But this is not the way you should go about it. <laughs> eh? If you need money, just calm down. That is a big lie. Yeah. That is a big lie. This meeting will not hold if I don't get my money. Saiken, hmm. with all due respect, excuse us. Of course. Yes, excuse us. You are a big thief. Hey! And if I do not excuse you, what would you do? You called me a thief? You are a bastard!
all right now. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. But, uh, <coughs> you, know, you need to understand that this is an association of friends and matters of the society. Okay. <laughs> listen to me. But I will leave you now. See you some other time. I will leave you now. See you some other time. <clears throat> Baby, why have you refused every opportunity and every help to get us out of this mess? Why? news that one of us is passing through hard times. You, know, um, you all know who I'm talking about, Sir Ikenna. So I went to the bishop concerning this matter. Okay. And after discussing with him, um, he ordered that uh, half of his money be refunded back to him. Considering the fact that he has been helpful, and that's parish and uh, he's also a faithful member so that is why i called the three of you because i've been trying to reach your phone his phone is not connecting so you go to his house talk with him then invite him so that we can do it officially do you understand me <laughs> get back to me as soon as you do that I must commend you for this Babe, look at this. Babe, what's the problem? For some time now, I've noticed that you've been quiet. What's the problem? Talk to me, alright? Uh, um, I'm not ready. Ready? Ready for what? I'm ready to meet your friends that can help me with my financial fee. <laughs> so now, like, finally, you're ready. <laughs> oh, well, it's good though. Now you're talking like a matured girl. Oh, I understand. All right. See, God knows what you're going through. You understand? And He's going to forgive you. Believe me. You've made the right decision. Oh, wait, just give me one second. Hello, Smith. My guy was so up now. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's here with me. I know she don't do it. Calm down, calm down. Yeah. She's ready now. Seriously. Okay. We'll be there. Catch ya. Ah! Babe, you're sure going to enjoy this one. I promise you. Don't worry. 
came. Babe, things are getting worse by the day. And what worries me the most is that my husband is not doing anything about it. How? My sister, I don't know. His friends are trying to help him, but he has refused to cooperate with them. Why? I don't know. I just don't know. I have asked him several times. He has refused to talk. Who's that? Does he enjoy suffering? I dear, I don't know. I don't know. He just, he just don't want to open up to me. He don't want to talk to me about it at all. I don't understand what your husband is up to. But you have to make him tell you the reason why. And if he refuses, then walk away. Force my husband. <laughs> Before I'm gone. You are too young to suffer like this. Thank God you have not given birth to your child. You can easily walk away. Oh, did this just come out of your mouth? Yes. Are you are you in any way asking me to divorce my husband? When he gave me the money. Whoa! 50k just for a night. Ah. Mama, listen up. Hmm? It's not usually that way. Don't think it's that way easily. But then, what you should understand is that, see Smith, Smith loves you. And he's fucking rich. Like, extremely rich. Huh? Eh? Just don't listen you. I feel so guilty. Why? Why? I don't think I can ever forgive myself for this. Mm. I promise to give my pride to my husband. I understand. But then, none of us ventured into this intentionally. We all do it to survive. Survival is the answer to the question, baby. So just ease your heart, right? Thank you too. <laughs> Anyways, what did you eat for lunch? All right. Ugh. What do you talk about when I ate? So I wonder why you have refused to tell me what is going on. Am I a stranger? Don't I have the right? To know the reason behind such decision as your wife? Babe, stay out of this. I know exactly what I am doing. Oh no, I won't. I will not. You better start talking. Tell me exactly what I need to know. Babe, the truth is, I am yet to understand what happens in that club. But I have the premonition that it is something evil. And you know I'm a very good Christian. I can't involve myself in anything ungodly. Oh please, spare me, spare me that. Just, just stop it. For quite a lot, these are your friends. It's just a mere call. They're trying to render financial help to you. To help solve your problem. So what is wrong? You are just a child. You won't understand. Oh, I'm not a child. Thank you. What is wrong with you? 
ever speak up. What is wrong with you? Jesus. Ever. Ever. Don't tell me Smith slept with you with that condom. What does that got to do with my condition? Because you're pregnant, baby girl. What? Ah, shit. No, just stop this. This joke is rather too expensive. It's not a joke, my dear. I'm dead serious. I'm going to get you something that is actually going to flush that idiot off from your tummy before people start to notice it after my name. Alright? Oh my god, what have I got to myself into? <laughs> Eva, this is no time for crying, right? You just have to stand up and face it. It happens sometimes, it do, but then you have to flush this idiot out, alright? You have to. What is the problem? Why are you looking so worried? Bible. 
the same Bible we all read says that he created us with his image and after his likeness. One in a cheeky Kenya, God cannot condemn us. It's not possible. <laughs> you, can, uh, you seem to make me laugh whenever you speak. You seem to know so much about uh, this your Bible. You fail to understand that uh, hell is not meant for big boys. I mean, men means money. Heaven is for the world class. Your same Bible also says that, um, as it is here, uh, so it is in heaven. So as long as we remain wealthy here on earth, we shall forever remain wealthy in heaven and enjoy every of its benefits. If you must know, uh, we can uh, heaven is for the rich. Hell is for the poor. Do we? So make a choice. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? May God forgive each and every one of you. Shut up. I'm out of here. <laughs> you heard of Christians who pretend to be children of God but get themselves involved in ritual killings, cultism, all for the love of money? Shut up! Shut up your mouth! Go out there and do what your fellow men do! I am your wife and I need to be taken care of. Do you understand? Rubbish! Chetta, 
it is well. There is God. He's alive. You can The bank officials paid me a visit today. They offered me a letter. Just I have a few days to leave my house. They were here too. Just I've been meaning to ask you. We all have been friends for quite some time. And I can remember vividly well that I have been of help to Mezier and Ameka severally. But what I don't understand is why have they refused to help us just because we refused to join the club? Can, uh, that question is very difficult for me to answer. I am surprised too. My brother, do not sell your soul to the devil. God is alive. He will see us through. Put your faith in him. Put your trust in him. What is the problem? You sound so terrible on phone and you decided not to explain. I'm not the one more. I'm not the one more. You make her? Yes. I am ready. Ready for what? I'm ready to join your club. Honestly, <laughs> please pardon my mothers, okay? I know. Is that all? This is not funny. Uh, yes, I... I <laughs> Well, I know it's not funny. I know it's not funny. Um, you see, it's just that you, you're making this whole thing look like one big deal. And it's not. Anyways, since you've decided to join the leagues of billionaires, what are friends for? I'll help you out. It's nothing. You see, the bunny cloak has come on the nail. Yakose, you can nail it below. Yakakose, I 
I know you will understand what I'm saying. Because you're still backward. Well, Fine. It's all good. I will help you. Let's not forget. Is he kind of coming with you? No. He does not know about this. I am doing it alone. I see. I see. Oh, very, very well then. It's all good. I know he will come. He will definitely come soon. But first of all, I want you to do me one favor. Please put a smile on that your face. I'm here to help you. Okay? I think um, we'll start from getting you something to drink and something to eat. Right? Um, waiter! Waiter! Frederick, listen to me. Listen to me. You can't do this to me. You cannot do this to me. I have worked with you guys for so many years. I don't expect this from you people. At least I need more time. Mr. Ikena, it is totally unacceptable. How do you mean? We've given you enough time for crying out. No, I need some more time. No you, time. You, listen, listen, this is business. All right? You, this is business. I, I, I need some more time. You can't, you can't come into my house and embarrass me like this. I'm very sorry, Mr. Ikena. This is not... Hello, madam. Please, come back. I don't understand. I need to get my handbag, at least my phone or something. I'm very sorry. You can't go in there to take a pin from this house. What? This, well... We're strictly obeying court orders, so I would advise you stay out. Mr. Officer. Friends, this is Ikenna. Officer. Can I get my brother's phone at least? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you can't. What? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 listen, you can't do this to me. We, we, it was business, right? I needed more time. Excuse I needed, me. I told you I needed more time. You can't do this to me. How much have you made with my money? How much have you made? Listen, I'll sue your bank. Fine, Mr. Again, now we'll see you in court. Officer, walk them out. How much have you made with my money? Officer, please. How much have you made with my money? Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Shall we? You're taking my time, please. Madam, please. Don't you dare touch me. What are you doing? What are you doing? What the hell do you think you're doing? You lock up my house, you take my house away from me, and now you want to take my wife. You want to take my wife? Sorry, I'm only doing my job. Oh, really? You're doing your job? Then good job. So, Babe, let's go. Don't you, don't you dare touch me. Don't you lay your filthy hand on my body. I'm not going to go through this hell with you. Do you understand? What? I will not. If I'm, this marriage is over. If I'm, I can't. I can't. If I'm... A, if you dare open your mouth! Let's go, let's go.
Mary. Brother. I must commend you. You have been a good sister to me. I don't know how to pay you back. You stood by me when I had nobody. Thank you so much for everything. Hmm, brother. You don't have to thank me. I am only doing what a sister should do. Mary, I must thank you. You're a good person. But you must listen to me. You have seen the situation at hand. I know you have some money with you. You will take that money and go to the village, please. And where will you go from Don't here? Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll find a way. No, brother. I am not going to the village. And if I have to go to the village, you are coming with me. No! Me. No, Mary. Don't say that. What has come over you? You must do what I ask you to do. No. Brother. It is just the both of us left in this world. You are all I've got. I am not leaving. I was with you when the going was good, brother, and I will be here with you now that it's bad. Let's stay together. Also, maybe. Shut up, Mary. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. This is my fight. This is my cross. Let me carry it. I don't want you involved. Please. Go to the village. No. I am staying with you. Don't ask me to go to the village. You want me to leave you here? So you could probably commit suicide? Or run mad? Due to the frustration. No, brother. I am staying with you. No, brother. I insist I'm staying with you. Great one. I honor you. You're welcome. This is the person we told you about. Young man. The world and the protection you seek are nothing before the great spirit of Zakuza. I believe your friends here. I've told you what is involved. Believe? Yes. Now well, let me add this. Are you ready to do your duties diligently here and obey the rules of this sacred order? See, greatness requires great task, and the only great minds can achieve it. I salute your courage. The world and the protection you seek, thou shalt find in abundance. Mega, 
go tell them the rest. As the spirit pleases. Great to work. Yes, so this is a community. So you guys can be managing here for now, you understand? The owner of the house and the contractors, they are my friends, so I can talk to them on your behalf. You don't have to you know. Sometimes me and my boys used to sleep at the other computer gym because of the bad boys. I don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. May God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be managing it for now, you understand? Just to love. Some days are like that. From here, but just calm down. I'll be checking you uh, from time to time to see if there's any other small Oh, God uh, oh, bless you. Thank, Thank you for your kindness. We're well, well, grateful. Yeah. No problem. I'll be checking you guys. Just go in and uh, check around. Thank you. yourself as a young woman, free and available for guys, especially on that area in the baby in your womb. What has my baby got to do with this? A lot. A lot, Ify. Real men that will offer you the best of life which you desire will not with this condition. Brother. 
I'm done slicing the watermelon, so I want to take them for sale. At least we can have some money. Ah. Yeah, cool. Mary. Yes, daughter. Mary, now you have to listen to me. Be careful out there. You hear me? Yes. Do not let anyone see you. Even if anyone does, you have to be very smart and diplomatic. Okay? Don't tell anybody where we're staying. I won't. I repeat, do not tell anybody where we're staying. Okay, brother. I won't. The most important thing is be careful out there and be smart. Okay? I will. All right. I will. Wish me luck. I wish you good luck. Thank you.
Good afternoon, youths. Good afternoon, sir. So I promise not to take your time. I promise to go straight to the point. I had an important meeting with the Reverend Father. And we spoke extensively about the youths of this church. It was brought to my notice that most of you here are going through difficulties. I do not know what areas though, but I was told you need help. He also told me that most of you want to become entrepreneurs, but you do not have a sponsor. Am I correct? Yes, sir. So my friend and I are here. So you can share with us. Tell us your problems. So we can know what areas to help you. Thank you so much, sir. May God bless and keep you for us. Thank you for remembering our youth. Thank you for giving us this great opportunity. We really appreciate it. We, the youth, have so many challenges facing us. Some of us drop out of school because of our financial problems. Some of us are willing to start up a business on our own, but there is no financial support. We have one or two problems in our homes due to challenges. Sirs, we say thank you and really appreciate. Youth, let's thank them. Thank you. It's all right. It's all right. We've heard you. You have to group yourselves. The graduates, those in schools already, those aspiring to be in school, those that need money to establish a business, even those that need some money to nurture their already established businesses. Put your names down according to your category. Then submit your uh, names to the youth leader. All right? If you're a graduate, attach your CV. It's very important. We'll know what we can do. Both of you have been of great help to this parish. I am really impressed. You see, what you did is what most wealthy men in this parish cannot do. You see, giving is the greatest secret behind success. That's why the Bible says that blessed is the hand that gives than the hand that takes. Give us never lack. For it is written that he who gives a cup of water to a prophet must surely receive the prophet's reward. I want to say thank you very much for the gift you brought for the fathers and for the money you donated for the next privilege. It is really something that is worth emulating. I want to pray for you. In the name of the Father. Son. Heavenly Father, the sons are here and they have given for the same blessing. God, why is all this happening to me? What have I done to deserve this bitter experience? Have I not served you faithfully? Is my worship not beautiful enough? You said in your word, those that put their trust in you are like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. God, look at my condition now. <laughs> Father Lord, let your word be true in my life, oh. Don't let my enemies begin to ask me, where is my God? Oh? God, change, change my situation. Oh, merciful Jesus, oh, merciful Father, oh, merciful Redeemer. 
Father, I trust in you. Oh, mercy for Jesus. Me, I don't want Chita, I am very sorry over what you've gone through. But the joy I have right now is that you've come back. You've come to the right place. You're now in the right source. One. Come on, no nearly any garbusili. You can nearly be wrong. You can achieve. My kind of mama too dear. He will know the test. Wealth is sweet. Wealth is life. Hmm. Now let, let me make it very clear to you. And let me speak a simple language you will understand. Right now, you're going to send me your account details. So I can infuse, or rather, Push in, or better still, slot in 20 million for you to manage and better your poor life. Right? What? 20 million? To me? You heard me crystal clear. And you said manage? Oh! It's a huge amount! I. Thank you so much. Hey, Thank hey, you so much, bro. Hey, don't Thank move. you. This is small money. 20 million is just the chicken change we give to most of our concubines to better themselves. Yemna 20 million. Big guy ne nyomwasa. You understand? The only thing you would do right now will make me happy over the kind gesture of render to you is to do what Zakuza says. Oh, 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 oh. That won't be a problem at all. At all, I will do it. I, I, I don't know how to appreciate you. Thank you, I never expected this. Oh, is this listen, how... Listen, one man, listen. Thank you. Let there be no mistakes. No, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me. Thank well, you. I don't have time. Send me the account details. I will send the money to you. Right I will do now. it right now. I will do it right now. Yeah? I, I, use, I use Macho Bank. Let me just transfer my. See, bros. Uh, say, Macho, I, I was told when I got to learn that job. The bank took over everything he had just because he was unable to pay back the money he borrowed from them. I mean, I never realized the situation was this bad. It's a pity, Mother General. I had it myself too. Even when I tried to reach him on the phone so I can be of help, his phones were switched off. Please, I plead with you. Whenever you get to know of his whereabouts, can you please advise me? I would love to get in touch with him. Sure, we'll do that, Mother General. If you'll excuse me, I was on my way to see Father John. How much did you make? Two thousand naira plus all that change. Baby, two thousand already. Yes. You tried to. Hey. <laughs> you know what? This is a thousand five hundred. This will be enough to get us some food now. Huh? But uh, let's make a pot of soup. No, 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 no. Go and get food first. Let us eat them. We'll think about cooking. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Um... Then buy two bottles of water. <laughs> Brother, cook. We need cook. Okay, buy two. To step down. Pour your pour your pour your. Give me that. Okay. Okay.
Uh, Father, we will go to Ikenna's place as we instructed, but we met his absence. Uh, does it mean he went out or something? Uh, Father, I, I don't know, but... Um... Yes, Father. Actually, we met somebody. Oh, yes. And the person told us that the bank has faced it. Yes. And his property uh, has... Confiscated? Yeah. Hey, yes, Father. True. Are you serious? This is getting out of hand. Mm. You were telling me something. Mm -hmm. Brother, mm -hmm. I saw Mizi on my way coming back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he asked of you. What did you tell him? I told him I don't know where you are. Mary. Brother. Don't ever make the mistake of telling anybody where to find us. Hmm. Hmm. Well, brother, mm -hmm. don't you think we should tell them where we are so that they can at least help us or something?
brother. Mm -hmm. I'm back up. Are you sleeping? I'm oh, so tired. How was your day? How was your day? I didn't sell all of it. No. It's remaining just two. Mary. Brother. Oh, oh, oh. Brother, I don't know how she got here. Good day, you cannot. Hold your greetings. What are you doing here? I came to see. For what? My son. Please. You have problems and you need help. Let me help you. Now listen to me for your information. I am not your son. I am not your son! I don't need you! I don't need your help to survive! I know you hurt deeply now. But please find it in your heart to forgive me and the church as well. You live here this moment. I don't need you or anyone! Listen, listen, Saikina. Please just listen to me. You're, you're, you're a child of God. An active parishioner. You can't stay back here. When the, the, the church can help you, the body of Christ is there to help you. Please. Mother. Mother. I am losing my patience. Leave here this moment. I won't repeat myself again. Oh merciful Jesus. Oh merciful Father. Oh merciful Redeemer. <laughs> Yeah? Are you serious? I just felt the same way you're feeling now. When I saw the uncompleted building where Saiken and the sister are putting up. I can't believe this. Oh my god. This Father, is unbelievable. Father, please. We need to do something about this. Then we can't let this continue. This is the time that the need us most. You're the right. church has to be there for psyching now. Please. You're right. You are very right. I, I think I have to ask some parishioners to come with us. We'll do that tomorrow, yes. as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Wait, okay. I, I need to rush. They're waiting for me for um, um, <laughs> Legion of Names. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I trust I in you. Now. Mary. Oh, merciful Jesus. Mary. How many times did I call you? I have told you. I have warned you to go back to the village. But you wouldn't listen. I instructed you. Do not let anybody know where we're staying. What the hell is wrong with you? What did you bring her here for? To mock us? I'm sorry, brother. I don't know how she got here. I don't know how she found us. She asked me where you were. I, I told her, I, I don't know. Are you a child? Do you not use your brain? I'm sorry. Mary, listen and listen good. If you're tired of staying with me, if you are tired of staying here, Go to the village. Because the next time this repeats itself again, I'll show you the other side of me. I'm sorry. Brother, seriously, believe me, I don't know how she. Brother, I can't tell you what happened. Brother, me? Oh, what is it? Brother, look! Oh, so I can now wait here for you. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Ikena, we are truly sorry for everything. Please forgive us. Okay. I've heard you. I'll get out. Saikena, we are your people. And that is why we've come to ask you to leave this place. Eh? 
This place is, is Hey! No, 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 listen to me, Mr. Man. And get out of this place before I do something stupid. Mom. Sankela. Please find it in your heart. Wait, look at this place. This place is not conducive. It's not good enough for you. Your brethren in Christ are here to help. Did I hear you say my brethren in Christ? No! All I see are my enemies! Ungrateful people! I helped each and every one of you, but you paid me back with evil! You all work for the devil. Now, now, now listen. If you don't get out of this place, I'll do something I'll regret. Uh, Saikenna, once again, we are sorry. It's just that you didn't listen to us. You would have understood us if you had listened. I have. I can understand. You have gone stuck really mad. You know what? You all can stay. When you, get, stay. When you get tired. Mary, let's get tired. Huh? Yeah, you can wait, 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 wait. Are you going to force me? Uh, no, no, no. We are not forcing you. Now get out. It's for your own good. Leave me alone. It's for your own good. I said you should leave me alone. Don't you you I said, I, see, wait. Be careful. Uh, we are careful. I said be careful. We are careful. Get out! 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 Saken, uh, this is where you will stay with your sister for now. Um, that idea of a completed building is totally unacceptable by the church. That is why we've come for this room. Uh, you stay here, relax, feel free. I will make arrangements with the parish group on how to bring food for you anytime you need food. And one more thing, please, do not hesitate to tell me anytime you need anything. Alright? Greetings, Hey, hey! now, you are welcome. <laughs> and please, you have to excuse us for a while, eh? This meeting is meant for the church council. Please, if you don't mind, please. Father Jude, I'm sure you know why I'm here. I want to believe you have given my message to the church council. Please come and settle me, I don't have time. Saikena, I don't understand what you are talking about. You don't understand what I am talking about? Here, eh? am I speaking Hausa language? My own money, Father Jude. My own money. Now listen and listen good. 
nobody, I repeat, nobody should get me upset. Because if you do, you don't like the other side. You get what is it? You don't talk to our father in that manner. You don't, you don't have to. Hey, please, excuse us, please. Tell him to give me my money. Saikena, if I may ask, what money? Which money? <laughs> um, Saikena had a problem. He came the other time asking for the money he gave for the church project. Father Jude told him the money has gone into the project. But he refused. Saying we are lying. Now we must give him back his money. What? It is not. Saikena! Is that why you came here and talked to the father in that manner without respect? Are you listening at all? Where in this world have you heard that a man was giving back what he gave to God? That money has gone into the church project. Mm. So please, excuse us. Mua. Mua. Ikenna. Who has contributed to the growth of this church as much as I have? And so? Huh? Uh, now listen to me. I have a problem. A serious predicament. Business is bad for me. And I need the money I give to you people. To reinvest in my business. And if I don't get that money, if I don't get that money, Father, if I don't get that money, you will not like me. <clears throat> Again, is it? Yes, I can. We understand what we are going through. But this is not the way you should go about it. <laughs> if you need money, just calm down. That is a big lie. That is a big lie. This meeting will not hold if I don't get my money. Saiken, with all due respect, excuse us. Of course. Yes, sir. Excuse us. You are a big thief. Hey! On a buffer, don't you? Hey! On a you? On a you are a big thief! And if I do not excuse you, what would you do? You called me a thief? You are a bastard! Things I cannot foretell. But I want to start by saying I'm sorry. I. I didn't know what came over me. Forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive you. It's okay. Forgive It's okay. Forgive It's okay. I repeat, tell me. Anytime you need anything. Do you understand me? I also want you to know that this situation will last but for a while. In no distant time, you're going to stand back on your feet. The Lord is your strength. Okay? Weeping endure it for the night. But joy will definitely come in the morning. May the peace and the love of God remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Just relax. Thank you. 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 
Good morning. My name is Mary. I'm one of the girls who helped get a job last year. Um, but I don't remember you. That's okay. My pleasure to meet you. How are you? Same here, sir. Um, I heard of a problem you had some time ago. Is a pity. That's okay. I I'm fine now. It's all in the past. Okay. Thank you. Um, can I be of help to you in any way? No, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Please don't turn down my offer. It is my only two way of saying thank you for what you have done for me. Please. Alright, I really do appreciate it. Right. Okay. Um, can I have a number? Um, I misplaced my phone. Okay. No problem. We see tomorrow at the evening service. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so you can like let me ask, what's your prayer life like? Hot or cold? Mother. I wouldn't say it is hot or cold. It is somewhere in between, somewhere in the middle. Uh, how, do you like your tea lukewarm? I don't like it. Exactly. Nobody likes a steam or water lukewarm. It's either it's hot or it's cold. Um. But mother. I've been meaning to ask you, why do you feel the need to examine my life? Let's say because I've been where you are today. So I understand perfectly what you're going through. But you see, um, many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the good Lord always delivers them. It is written that um, you can say to the mountain, be moved and be cast into the sea. Believing that it shall be done, then it will come to pass. Let me even ask, how often do you pray for your business? Very little. Well, that's the point. You see, the fact that I am a reverend sister does not mean that I never had my ups and downs. I was just like you until I learned to study my Bible. And the good Lord showed me that it's not for me to do the lifting. All I need to do is to pray. And things started happening. So what you need to do now is to pray, trust, and stand on the word of the Lord. And the good Lord will take care of any situation you find in your life. Mother, I must thank you for your kind words and encouragement. I must say, I love your faith and your closeness to God. Sir Ikenna, if you give me one hour of your time every day, I will teach you how to pray. I will teach you how to fight and with the right weapon. You see, I see in you a prayer warrior that needs to be awakened. Just, just give me the opportunity to help me. Thank you. He can now. I'm fine. God has been faithful. See, I've been looking for you, but your phone has been switched off. 
Like I don't have a phone anymore. And I'm fine without a phone. He came back. I don't want to believe that what I have is true. What did you hear? One man is in it. That you're not leading a church. And Emeka, what is wrong in living in the house of God? Are you living in the house of God as once? As Reverend Father, or Reverend Sister, or a seminary? One man again, you what does it mean? One name. As what? Emeka. I am not in the mood for this discussion. So leave me alone. I know exactly what you're doing. Oh no, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Because I look at you like a madman. You don't live in a parish. You know, serve a reverend father and reverend sister. When no below the kita, you do not serve. It's a shame. You know, what is the I mean, it's a slap to a person. It's really friends. He said, no. Come and join the League of Billionaires. You decided to be a pauper. A pauper. Are you comfortable with it? I mean, you've lost all you've got. What name was the Are you not ashamed? Why is up? Can I ask you a question? I'm what yes. What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? One man spare me that fallacy. Emeka, you call the word of God fallacy? Yes. <laughs> Emeka, I know you. Emeka, I know everything about you. I am also aware. You are trying to initiate me into a secret cult. People who kill and do all sorts of human sacrifice for money. I know. I want to tell you something. And I will be very happy if you listen and listen attentively. Listen. I'm just one of you. See you for me. It took a long way. There's division of labor. You see, it doesn't end in making money. But to train money. And I swear, guys, the police, what they go. I want you to understand that poverty, like the white man said, is an epidemic. Obiam, if you fell in. But I didn't Stinks, stinks. So, what I expect of you to do right now is to come to the brochure and get you to become a man. And then there's this common saying that says, Give unto Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. That which is for us, we do not be carrying on. We to be a man. So you should understand that I'm also born again. And the night of Saint Mark Parish, you are aware. So man, make a chole come. Go do chole bomb. There is something I know that you don't know. So man, let it go and come. America. I'll advise you give your life to Christ. <laughs> Tomorrow might be too late for you. Our conversation is over. You can know. Uh, what's up? 
Anyways, since you've chosen this spot, let's see how it goes. Can you send for me? Yes, I can. I heard you now do many jobs. But that has got to stop. Yes. I have decided to offer you a job, a more comfortable and stress-free one. Father, offer me a job. Saikena, you are now my assistant secretary. Father, me. Thank you so much, Father. You don't know how happy I am to hear this. Thank you so much. You are starting tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Father. Father, oh, thank you, Lord. God bless you. Lord. God bless you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You can go now. Jesus, I trust in you. Father, in the time yes. of sorrow, I, I trust in you. I still want to apologize for the past. When I look at you sometimes, I feel so ashamed of myself. In the time of sorrow, it was the devil. Jesus, I, I, I didn't mean to do all of those things. Jesus, I'm sorry. So I can, from the very depths of my heart, I have forgiven you. Old things are past away. May the peace and the love of God remain with you. Rejoice with me, sister. Father Jude just offered me a job as a secretary in this church. Brother? Yes. Seriously? Hey! Lord, only you can do this great and mighty work. I can thank him a lot. Hey! He said, he said I can start whenever I want. Brother? Yes. I'm happy for you. Hey, brother. Congratulations. <sighs> Ikena Ikena Everett Saikena Saiken Where are you going to? My friends are calling me. Who? My friends. They're calling me. Your friends are calling you by this time of the night? They're calling me. Saikenda! Sa Saikenda! Jesus, I come against every power of darkness 
I come against every power of darkness. I come against every power of darkness. Against every it. familiar spirit, every masquerade spirit, every every power of darkness. I come against every occultic power. In the mighty name of Jesus, I set myself free from every bondage, every satanic bondage. I come against their powers. Agent of darkness, I rebuke you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The secret things of the Lord are for thee that fear the Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this revelation. I stand against the vibration against I came. So you said in your work that whatever we bind on earth is banded in heaven, and you have given us power. To trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means fall. Therefore, I decree, and the unsurmountable name that's a good God, and in the name of Jesus Christ, that every works of the enemy against I can be broken into pieces this minute in the name of Jesus Christ, and chain all the enemies, every evil power coming from the pit of hell against us. Lambra basha kamu libra kala baba ye kama zanda ya kala bo ye keze bere baba libra kala bo mazunde le banaya. Jesus, I trust in you. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Redeemer. Yeah. Good morning. I'm fine. Uh, you came for the morning mass. Yes. Oh, that's good. Do you do this every time before you go to work? Of course. Where is my weapon? Oh, amazing. Oh, keep it up, okay? Thank you. Actually, I got something for you. For me? Yes. Okay. And here is... I know it's late, so, but... I just have to manage this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to run down. Okay. Thank you. Bless her. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother, the seminarian was here to see you. Mm -hmm. He said Father Jude asked him to call you. Call me? Yes. Okay, I'll go and see him. Brother, your dress is that nice. It was not an ordinary dream. So I began to pray against the manifestation. Ikena, this dream made me to understand that there are evil hands, evil hands 
that are behind the problem you had in the business. And those people, those evil people, are the people that are very close to you. But I'm already praying, I'm already in prayers, that the Lord shall release you from the captivity of the enemy. Amen. And I tell you something, you shall come out triumphantly. Amen. But you need to pray for yourself. You need to pray for yourself. Father, thank you very much. I'll do everything in my power to seek the face of God. Please do. You are an overcomer. Amen. The peace and the love of God be with you. Amen. And forever. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, And what is wrong in preaching the gospel? <laughs> we play music in foreign land with real cash. One day, when I walk on my ideology. I'll keep doing the work of he that sent me. <laughs> so you are not ashamed to be seen around with this this thing in the same vicinity where you're known as a wealthy man. You are now seen as a dirty power preacher. Are you this senseless and kind? What are you preaching? <laughs> he that is ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of him before my father in heaven, says the Lord of all. One. 
You are taking this, your born again thing, too far! Go, go, man. Oh, yes. Too much. And you're beginning to understand this from a different perspective. Nataba. It's wrong. Chetana. Including you? Oh, my God. Oh! How are the mighty fallen? Goyi. Goyi. See. Yes. We made the decision, but I decided not to conclude from afar. I joined the club, and I saw it wasn't what we were told that it was. All right. My friends here helped me out of poverty. Did you see? Did you see the way? Listen to me. You're my friend. I don't like to see you like this. Come out of your poverty state. Let's show you light. Let's show you some light so you can, you know. Are you sure you know what you have gotten yourself into? Oh, God, my God. Don't get me wrong. Thank you for looking out for me. But you have to be very careful. And listen. I don't want your help. My spirit does not welcome collecting anything from you people. My help cometh from the Lord. And I'll advise you to give your lives to Christ before it is too late. God does not take pleasure in the death of any sinner. Give your lives to Christ. Be very careful before you begin to impregnate Reverend Sisters. Listen. Get out of my sight right now. You stink me. Glory be to God in the heart. I heard you went to win souls for the Lord. Yes, Mother. That is very good. And please note that anyone that works in the Lord's vineyard must be rewarded. Amen. Um, there's been something that has been bothering me. Before you started having your business uh, problems, you had a lot of friends, rich friends in this parish, like uh, Cheta, your business partner and best friend. How come none of them is ready to help you? Especially, I mean, look at what you're going through. No, nobody's been of help. Um, Mother, I am sorry to ask this question. How did you find out about this? Well, a, a couple of them were here earlier in the day, and um, I spoke to them on your behalf, and they were like, they've been offering their help, and you, you've turned them down. You've refused to accept any help from them. Um, Mother, the truth is, I have not been led in my spirit to accept anything from them. Are you? I'm fine, thank you. Ah, good. Um, what is going on? What do you mean? Well, I'm talking about your marriage. Mother, that marriage is a close chapter. As a matter of fact, it's a part of my life I hate to remember so much. Ifama, 
We are talking about marriage vows here. Vows taken in the presence of the Lord at the altar. Not some... Mother, if you don't have any reasonable words to talk to me about this morning, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I have to leave. I don't know because I could call marriage and where is in time? I see. Uh, why, Alo? Forgive my interference, but what about your baby? It's a pity I lost it. It's a pity you lost it. Today. trying to ask her after you. She has completely changed. Mother, what about the baby, my baby? <coughs> and she, 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 she lost the baby. What? Brother, I am so sure that Ifoma never had any miscarriage. She aborted that pregnancy just to go about her normal life. Mary, I'm aware if Oma aborted my child. But what I can't understand is, if Oma has changed, she has suddenly become heartless to me. Bad influence. But that bad influence, I heard the woman she stays with is a very terrible person. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm in the church right now. Yes. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. All right. Brother, who was that? Sounded worried on the phone. She sounds very sick. Her father is not around. I've gotten some money from him to take her to the hospital. When did it start? It started last night. Okay, see so what will happen, eh? You just try and bring her down. Let me hurry and get a text so that we can take her to the hospital. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah. Thank you for everything. I I don't know the right words to use. I mean, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you for everything you've been doing for me. You didn't only take my sister to the hospital. You took care of the bills. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, okay? It's all right, sir. A lot of friends. And Mary, don't call me sir. My name is Ikenna. 
Please call me Ikenna, alright? Okay. Ikenna, there's something I want you to do for me. Um, okay, let's hear it. What's that? Tomorrow is my birthday and I want you to be the first person to call me. Oh, that's fine. That's doable. I can do that. that that's fine. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much. Alright, let, let me walk you. Alright. Mother, I have gone through so much in my life. I have overlooked so many betrayers. But the fact that my wife left me and began to sleep with my friend, Mezi, all because of money, that I can't overlook. Saikena, I understand perfectly how you feel. But I would like to ask you a question. Do you think God still loves your wife and your friend? Mother, he is God. I'm sure he still does. Do you love your wife? Mother, I have so much love in my heart for her. But that is buried under the frustration she has caused me. Then she needs grace. No! Mother, she doesn't deserve grace. Do you deserve grace? You see, the Bible makes us to understand that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God, in his infinite mercies, decided that he would forgive all of us. So, he sent his only begotten son so that he would die on the cross and we will have forgiveness and salvation of our souls. You need to learn to forgive. Because the Bible says, he cannot forgive you if you do not forgive those that have offended you. Mother, it's just too difficult to do. That is where grace comes in. God's grace would make you forgive people no matter how bad they have hurt you, God's grace will give you that grace that you need to forgive. Listen, you cannot have you and God, the Holy Spirit, in your soul. You need to diminish so that God will take over. And when he does, he will take away everything bad in your life. When you learn to forgive you, you're set free. You're free to laugh, you're free to do anything with so much happiness. It is time to let God take over. And then, you would be able to fight your real enemy. Mother, did I hear you say enemy? Yes. That enemy that is locking around the corner, hiding deeply. Satan. He is out there to ravage you, 
to destroy your happiness, your marriage, your business, everything good about you, the devil is ready to destroy you. But if you allow God into your soul, he gives you the grace, he gives you the peace, he gives you the love to continue fighting. He takes over your life. And that way, you are able to find Satan in prayers. It is time to become a prayer warrior. Because you need it. There is no magic in the location of prayer. The Bible says you can go to your room and pray in secret. And your heavenly father who sees what you do in secret will reward you openly. Now, get rid of any distractions and focus your heart on God. <laughs> Acknowledge that He is God and that you desperately need Him. Be grateful for your blessings. Then lift up your burdens to Him. Beg Him to teach you how to be a better husband. If there's something bothering you, confess and ask for His forgiveness. Then choose to believe and trust in Him. For He can and will always take care of you. Then pray for yourself your wife and your family and any other person that the Lord brings your way. Don't rush it. Take your time. Feed my cross, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause, they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you? Delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy for, for him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good, to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, Sit and listen to me. You can't take away my family. You can't take away my wife. You can't take away my business. And still want to take away my life. I command you, wherever you have been manipulating my life, I command you to release me now. My life is under a new management. My life is under a new management. I have no business with you. I have no commitment with you. I have no agreement with you. So I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, release me now in Jesus' name. Release my family in Jesus' name. Release my business in Jesus' name.
I cried out to you, O Lord, unto the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me, Lord, my helper. You have turned for me my money into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praises to you and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. <laughs> Agent of darkness, I rebuke you. Okay, Jesus. Oh, this dream again. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for you have given us victory. Thank you, worshipped of days, for we are victorious. For you. Why the bigger one? <laughs> that sacrifice is rejected. Why? The spirit of Zakuza needs the blood of a virgin girl from you. Great one. I have never killed before. I never knew it's one of the criteria to be out of the club. Nobody told me I was going to keep. How? You were told. You were told that you will be offering a living team every six months to the spirit of Zakuza. Oh yes! A cow! Is human being not a living team? You have two weeks to offer the sacrifice. Uh, Mother, you know the last time you suggested that we do something really fast about uh, a criminal situation. So I thought about it and I, I went to the bishop as regards to what he's asking for. So after much deliberation, the bishop ordered that half of the money should be recovered by two. Jesus Christ, be your name. Mother Mary, you're awesome. Yes. I can't believe yeah. this. Ikena is, is, is one of us and he's been of immense help to this parish. We can't watch him suffer. So I quickly related to the parish council. And uh, I told him to make half of his money available so that he can start on it. Father, thank you so much. You don't even know what you've done. That money will be of great help to the young man. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mother Mary, thank you for interceding for your children. I can't wait to tell you the good news. No. I can't do it. This is not 
part of the arrangement now. Yeah? If I had known, I wouldn't have in involved myself initially. Check <laughs> So listen and listen good. Go and do what you are asked to do. Living thing is living thing. Nothing less than that. Emeka, understood. Have you gone crazy or something? <laughs> you mean I should kill my fellow human being? Wait. Have you killed before? Cheda would have asked you to shut up because you talk like a child. But then, now listen to me and listen really good. Do you know how many people have killed? <laughs> the last one I killed was my younger sister. Don't let me shout. I don't want to shout. Let's hear, let's hear talk now. Let's hear that she is right. Have you? Eh? I have killed as well. <laughs> Look, the difference between you and I is that I've never been asked to kill anyone related to me. But the truth is, the moment I'm asked, <laughs> I will never hesitate. I love my life. As a matter of fact, Cheta, I'm asked to kill you. Or nothing twice. I'll kill you. I can go and do what you have to do. Wait. So, you people are this wicked. This is unbelievable. And you could sit in the church shouting the name of our Lord? And you can be there. Oh, we Cheta, can... shut up. Heaven will never forgive. Shut up and stop acting like a child, Cheta. Look, you better do what you're asked to do. Zakuza has given you everything you've ever asked for money, faith, protection. This is your time to reciprocate that favor. Cheta, if you love your life, you must do it. You have just till next month to do that. Once I've been born. Hey! Cheta. You should have listened to Ikenga. Cheta. Ikenga is right. How did I get... I am finished. Hi! Cheta. Sir? Listen to me. Gelmont. Hmm? Come on, Mune Lieli. Da Kusili. Si Gene Libero. Si Chelu Gene. Makoma Makusiato. We know the test. I don't care anymore. Now listen, go and do what you're asked to do. Makan Piawazo. Why you so? Come on, get out of here. Not that I didn't want you to take that. Uh, Saikena, here is Mr. Kenneth. He's my very good friend and uh, no schoolmate. Yes, he's a businessman and he deals uh, on textile, uh, but uh, he stays overseas. So he needs someone, I mean a trusted person that can handle the new company he opened in the country. So I recommended you. Oh, thank you, Father. All right. uh, Mr. Kenneth, this is Sir Ikenna. He's a trusted friend and also a son in the Lord. So please meet him. Uh, my pleasure to meet you, sir. My pleasure. Yes. Do you have any business here? Yes, I do, sir. I do. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It's where. It's where. It's where. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you all the worship. You may be exalted. Mary. Anything too hard for God to do? Absolutely not, sir. Mary, the God of impossibilities just answered my prayers. Father Jude introduced me to a man who owns a very big textile company. He said he was looking for capable hands to handle the business. Guess what? He offered me a job. Mary, he didn't just offer me a job. He gave me a house. My sister, he didn't just give me a house. He gave me an official car. Mary! Hey! 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 Thank you, Thank you. Hey! Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Nare kelemo isuroke ekele durano mae tine kenke niwe. I love the former so much. I mean, I could do anything for her, and just because God was trying to test my faith by letting my business crash. If Oma turned her back on me, she left me. I cried. And since then, it's been very difficult for me to fall in love. I'm sorry about what you have been through and I promise to make you happy in my own little way. Thank you. And I must commend you. I was, I was surprised when you got the gift and when you told me that, oh, that I was, uh, you were one of my Oh yes. Yes, I will send my boys to to see what. I salute you, great messenger of Sakusa. The wind is gone. I have just a wind to bring the wild sacrificial virgin. The great spirit is not a patient one, so don't keep him waiting. No matter how big it is. So put your hand in my hand and you promise to return it. The spirits gave you everything you asked for. You must provide what is demanded. Or else we face his wrath. This option is unnegotiable. Unnegotiable. But I know why you are here, but don't dare 
if you value your life. I am sorry. I want to leave. I, I don't want to continue anymore. Then be prepared to go back to the situation we put you into before. And finally, you shall die shamefully. Excuse me. Did you say the situation you put me into before? Yes. Your life has been under my control even before you became a member of this club. How? Take a look. Great one. There are two young men training on my tool. I want them to be taught a lesson. Want them to lose all the gods. So in turn, come back to me. Do you have anything that belongs to them? Yes, great woman, I have their names. What are their names? Chita Chuku Okafu and Ikenna Machu. I call on the spirit of Cheta to appear here. Now, I have had your life monitored. In my hands lie your life and destiny. So, my beloved friends were responsible for all the problems I had in my business? You are now a member of this club. And it is against our rule for a member to be against his brother. Is your heart to provide the sacrifice? So, what do you care for? Nothing. You sure? You don't want anything? Food? Drinks? Oh, okay. That's fine. Merit, I um, I invited you just to say thank you for everything you've done. I mean, you came into my life when all hope seemed lost. When everyone turned their back on me. Um, I, uh, I just want to say thank you. I... Sometimes I, I look at you and I remember a lot of things I have been through. The people I loved and cared about betrayed me. But each time you show me care, each time you show me love and affection, I, I just feel like I I owe you the world. I, I'm about to do something now. I, I am not doing it because you helped me or you were there for me. I'm actually doing it because you deserve it. marry me. I promise to be a good man. I promise to love you. I promise to protect you. I promise to treat you like a woman should be treated.
Blessing you for me. May God bless everything that concerns you. Who's bless driving in like a man? All is not well at all. All is not well. Do you know? I have a confession to make before I confession? die. Confession? Before you die, who's killing you? Confession. Confession. I had a part with the devil before. What? The devil? <laughs> what, what devil? Which devil? Missy and Demeka are responsible for all the problems we had in our business. What? What, what devil? What are you talking about? What did you say?
Sacheta, you shall not die. You shall live to testify the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Whatever altar, wherever it is, where they presented your name, an evil altar, wherever it is that they presented your name, I destroy with the mighty name of Jesus. I render them powerless and I give you life in Jesus' name. <coughs> Who was responsible for the downfall of my business? The mechanic business, yeah. I, I, you didn't tell me. They are occultic people. How? They keep people to make their money. Yes. And you didn't tell me? They destroyed our business due to jealousy. Yes. And because we did not join that club. You see that club? It's not an ordinary friend's club. It's Devil's Temple. The occultic. They, they, they asked me to sacrifice human, but I did not do it. I believe that's why they wanted to kill me. Please, mother, pray for me. I don't want to die. You will not die. You shall need to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You will not die. Amen. Accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and you shall need to testify His goodness in the land of the living. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Say it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. of the sacred order. He has opened his mouth out there and must bear it with his blood. No one, no one dares the spirit of Zakuza and lives to tell the story. Both of you have seven days to offer his heart to the spirit of Zakuza or else you bear with yours. As the spirit pleases. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I have a few bottles of wine. So we all know why we're gathered here today. To give thanks to God. God has been merciful. It has been a lonely road we have traveled. God has been good to me. I don't know about you people, but God has been good to me. So before we proceed with the opening of the wine, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father King of Glory, we thank you for everything that you've done. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for loving us. We thank you for everything. God, thank you. I'm sorry, please. I was misled by my friend. Please, I'm sorry, please. <laughs> if you disappointed me, I at least expected this from you. You abandoned your husband when he needed you most. The worst of it all is that you started hanging out with his friends. Infidelity. And now you're pregnant. You don't even know who's responsible for this pregnancy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do all that, please. I loved my husband so much. I was misled. Please have mercy, please, Anna, please. Please help me. Not because I'm back with my husband, please. I beg you. Please, Anna, please. Anna, please help me, please. please. One more round. Hello. 
Club. Father Jude. Good day. I'm fine. No, I'm in the house. I'm at home. Okay. Alright, I'll be with you shortly. Why you called me here? Second, so please sit. Please, just sit. Second, so a man asked Jesus, How many times? Will someone offend you in a day and you won't forgive? And Jesus answered and said, Seventy times seven. And that is to say that as long as we live, forgiveness is what we owe one another. In our daily prayers, we pray, Forgive us, O Lord, our sins as we forgive those that sin against us. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. Your wife has realized her mistakes, and she has come begging. Please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty that we serve, forgive her. Please. Father Jude, I am sorry to disappoint you. What you're asking me to do is completely impossible. It is completely unacceptable. And for your information, if this thing here is the reason you called me, consider this meeting over. I cannot. I really understand how you feel. Yes, I understand. But don't let this your anger make you forget that you are a Christian. <laughs> Father. See, I am trying not to sound disrespectful. I'm trying not to sound rude in any way. <laughs> I, I'm sure we both know what I'm talking about. I was told she lost the pregnancy. I was told she lost the baby. So why is her tummy protruding like someone who just ate 46 plates of pounded yam? came back and Father Jude is begging you to accept her? <laughs> For what? If someone left me,
She left me when I needed her the most. When I found myself in a very critical situation. <laughs> Mary Ifoma also aborted my child. My child. She killed my child. And as if that wasn't enough, she started sleeping with my friends. Mm. And now, she has the iPhone tree to come back to me, begging for my forgiveness, because she knows God has blessed me again. <laughs> <laughs> I respect Father Jude, but brother, I will not advise you to consent to what he's saying. <laughs> I mean, that woman is a bloody witch, a gold digger, and as such, brother, she should not be let back into this family. Mary, let me ask you a question. I know all women are not the same. But why do women behave this way? <laughs> but that, Sophia, is that the way you've seen me behave? You know she's pregnant. Hmm? She's pregnant for another man. How? Bro bro brother, I. I thought she said she lost yeah. the baby. Mary, I thought so too. that my boys has been in Chita's house for the past three days. Yet it's nowhere to be found. Cheta Lacha Pugoso. Hold the woman. It's good. Maka, this is serious. This is very, very serious. Look, our lives are at stake here. We must find him. We must find Cheta. Cheta cannot rub. No matter how hard he tries to hide, I will fish him out. Trust me. Oh, merciful Jesus. Oh, merciful Father. Oh, merciful Redeemer. Father, I trust in you. Oh, merciful Jesus. The Lamb of Glory Father, I trust in you In the time of trial I just came to tell you that Jesus, This is not going to work, Father Ikela is a guy that I've loved with all my heart Ikela is a guy I've helped Father, it can't be possible I've always been by his side. I've helped Ikena a lot. Eventually, I fell in love with Ikena. Father, I'm engaged. How do you expect me to leave a man that I love? A man that I've engaged you with? You agreed you knew he has a wife. <laughs> yes. yes, I know that he has a wife. But she ran away a long time ago, Father. Um, what are you telling me? <laughs> listen to me. Once married, is married. Okay? I want you to know that a good man that would love you and cherish you will come your way. Just leave it, Ken. Okay? I am not going to leave him for anything. Ikenna is mine, Ikenna is mine. 
I'm not going to leave you again for anybody, Father. And there is nothing we can do about this. And don't forget that what God has joined together, let no one put us under. Father, I am not ready to leave Ikena for whatsoever. Ikena is mine. I'm not going to leave Ikena for anything. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Put yourself in my shoes, Father. What do you want me to do? I have nothing to do with nothing I can do about this. Fuck it, boy. So you see, sometimes I believe God allows us to go through certain situations because He wants to test our faith. He said in His Word, if we have faith as small, as little as a mustard seed, we can speak to the mountain to move and it will move. So I know it's, it's been it's been tough, but look at the transformation. I didn't surprise. You know when Father looked at me and said, "I'm giving you a a." a let you into my house. How did you find this place? Father Jude gave me the address. Father Jude gave you my address and you boldly walked into my compound with another man's child. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Please, I'm sorry. Now listen to me. I'll walk into the house. By the time I come back, I don't want to see you here. Don't try me. Please, baby, I'm sorry. Baby, please, don't do this. Please, please, come back. Come back, come back. Please help me, please. Please help me, please. Why are you acting as if you don't know what God will do to you? Please, leave me. I can't leave without you. No, baby, please. Come on, come on. human to forgive divine you need to forgive her mother it is not as easy as you think I know and that's why you need God's grace now tell me with all sincerity don't you still love your wife I mean is there no iota of love in your heart for her 
Mother, I have moved on. Ifoma should do the same. Mother, I I love the Ifoma. She's my wife. What I felt for Ifoma, I have never felt for another. But I'm sorry. Things have changed. How do you mean things have changed? Can you explain? Mother, I am engaged to another woman. Come to think of it, she's even pregnant with another woman. Holy Moses. So fast. Yes. Now, who is this other woman? Her name is Mary. She's a member of the church. Merit? Are you serious? He engaged another woman in such a hurry? It's surprising, Father. Huh. Really surprising, though it's not his fault. He did nothing wrong. Um, I think, Mother, we have to do everything possible to ensure that we bring him back to his wedded wife again. Um, Father, I don't think there's a possibility. It's possible, it's God. Um, Though it's going to be tough, considering the fact that she's free, that's what we We need God's intervention in this world. I think so too. I want to thank you for all the good things you did to Saiken and when the going was not really smooth. Um, but uh, there is an issue on ground and that is why I deemed it pertinent to discuss with you. Okay. I believe as a good Christian that if I talk to you that you will understand. You are aware Kenna has a wife. Sure. But she left long time ago. And yeah, she left. And now she's back. So, what does that have to do with me? If Oma wants to come back to her husband, she has confessed and she's ready to turn a new leaf. I know this is very difficult for you to do, considering the fact that you're already engaged. But oh, please, I beg you in the name of the Lord Almighty, leave Ikenna for his wife. Father, what are you saying? Despite whatever happens, if Oma remains Ikenna's lovefully wedded wife that we all know, please, it is difficult, like I said. But I want you to consider if you are in this shoe, how would you feel? Father, are you in any way insinuating that I should leave the man that's engaged me? This discussion is over. He can have a wife. And that's final. Listen, I am confused right now. I don't know what to do. I'm like, look, see, I can no longer sleep. I can no longer rest. I am confused. Well, Mezi, honestly, I'm as confused as you are. Yes. Well, I'm like, I have to do something. You have failed. 
You failed to do as instructed. Sakusa has gone for your soul. What? No, 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 I won't die. I, I, I won't die. Please. Go, go, Sakusa! Please help me. You can help me. Help me, please. You can help me. Huh? Please. Go to the morning. Huh? You can know about your girl. What is it? I am. I am almost. I've met my doom, please. Someone is after me. <laughs> hey! You can help me. That's it. That's it. You can't run away from your shadow. You failed to do as you were directed. Your time is over. Oh. Hey! Oh. Stay out of this or I kill you. You can't kill me because I have no business with you. Besides, he that is in me is greater than he that is in you. Okay. Now take it. Calm down! Jesus! In the name of Jesus! Oh merciful Jesus, I am so I have a pact with the devil. Honestly, I appreciate the works. I didn't expect you to work this much. I enjoyed it so much. You know, listen, let me tell you. There's a saying that when a woman knows how to handle the husband. It looks like she uses charm. Why you malo be dear or the cool job? Nah. Honestly, hold on. Let me show some appreciation. That's a four hundred dollars. Wow. Change four hundred dollars. Change it. Just for a few moments. This is huge, thank you very much. One they don't mention. This little thing is what we give to people for thanks for coming. The other room. Hi. You know what you're gonna do for me right now? Turn around and face the gate. Call me whenever you want to see me. Of course me. I'll do that. Right? right? You can go. Thank you. One name will ya. More of the formula. <laughs> I miss it. Chris Sakusa! Chris Sakusa! Accept the offering of your subjects.
please pray for me. Pray for me. Pray so God can forgive all the sins I've committed. It was greed that led me into this. Oh Lord, forgive me my sins. Just go on your knees. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, our God. I was surprised when Father Joe told me that. Merit, that's why I called you. I have grown to like you. You're very caring. You have a beautiful heart. And sometimes, I wish I could pay back everything you have done for me. But I have to tell you the truth. Please forgive me. I have decided to take my wife back. She is my wife. We are married before God. I'll be failing in my duties as a Christian if I don't forgive her. I won't have peace of mind. Please, you have to understand. I, I, I believe you're going to find a good man who's going to be there for you, who's going to provide for you, who's going to protect you. I am not that man. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, though it's very difficult for me to admit the fact that I'm letting go of you. But, I believe in the word of God that says what God has joined together, no man should put asunder. Though it's very difficult for me, and I hope that God will bless me with my own man someday. Father, Mother, it is not easy for me, not at all, but as well, you can, uh, you can go on with your wife. A good Lord would send you in. Okay. Merit, I, um, I must commend you. You are the example of what a caring woman should be. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And I pray you find someone who would love you just the way you wanted to love me. And as for you, Ifoma, God will surely bless you with you. Thank you. I can't believe you are 